what's good people i uh, hope you guys are doing awesome back with you with another episode um so if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to hit that uh, bell notification not to miss any upcoming videos because there's gonna be a lot of cool videos coming and uh obviously don't forget to subscribe so today we are doing a first first official modification to the hellcat and uh yeah i'm excited about it i told you guys when i get this car the first thing i want to do is do, what first thing i want to do to benefit the car is protect the, the car before any kind of other things so so far we did a ppf wrap on it to protect from scratches and uh, rock chips and we installed the uh, mud flaps from more rock flying and hit the body of the car but today we are actually going to do something under the hood actually two things um to benefit the car um and i still it blows my mind when i still see some people that have high performance vehicles um and still don't have this you know and i think it's super 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 necessary to get this done so that's what we're doing today huh let's grab this a uh, few boxes up here yep this ones all right and let me show you what we're doing all righty let's pop this hood yep. all right so what are we doing today guys uh we're gonna be do doing two things first thing we're gonna be installing uh cfm performance uh valve cover breather so what it does is uh helps to relieve the pressure uh, oil pressure from the um, inside the crankcase um, highly recommend and we're gonna be installing the oil catch can as well which will help to not to get any kind of oil debris gunk and sludge inside before it gets to the engine so highly recommending so this is what we're doing today alrighty let's open up this uh, CFM performance breeder uh, get over here there you go wow that looks awesome as you can see i chose the carbon fiber and the reason why is because i'm gonna be doing everything carbon fiber trim pieces up here including uh, air intake and it will look absolutely amazing so that's will uh, match perfectly but as you can hear there's a bulb up here so that uh, what it is is it's just a valve the pressure valve so the air goes out not and um, with this uh just oil cap there it's blocked so the pressure doesn't go um anywhere um especially when you have a boosted car or supercharged car um <laughs> you, you 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 definitely want this because then you're looking for trouble with uh all that pressure goes in any kind of seals gaskets uh, and you will end up having an uh, oil leaks somewhere so anyways let's pop this um, oil cap off oh, there you go and uh, let's put this breather in put it in and start twisting it from the bottom and you will feel uh, good snug hold on there you go nice because when you start twisting it from the top you're gonna be un untightening the top of the uh, filter so uh, twist it from the bottom and you, you will feel the snug so that's that guys we are got uh, now we're gonna be installing the oil catch can all right oil catch can uh before we're gonna we're gonna install this i forgot to tell you when you're gonna install the uh cfm performance breeder uh you might notice your rpm is gonna go go up and down a little bit that's a normal thing because like i said there is a ball up there that is not lubricated and uh, when you drive it for about a mile or two it will get greased up and everything will go back to normal anyways back to the uh, oil catch can here's the oil catch can uh, we have some brackets and bolts 
um, and that, that's it. Uh, let's grab a couple tools that we need for this project. Uh, here's the knife that my wife was looking for from the kitchen. <laughs> and uh, these two things. Alrighty. Should be really simple uh, install. So um, <clears throat> we're gonna remove this piece up here. We're gonna remove the uh, factory hose that connected to the metal fall and engine. And then uh, we're gonna be installing the can. Let's remove this piece cover off. Let's move it to the side. Okay, now we have to remove this factory hose. Let's, at the bottom, uh, there's a pin up here. Let's push it on it and push it out. There you go. At the top, there's another little black pin up here. Move it to the side and here we go it comes out let's move this to the side so that's that all right let's uh put this bracket on for the oil can so you get two big bolts and you get two screws um so here's a thread up here for the this bolts for your uh, bracket so we're gonna take one big bolt and put it in thread it, thread it on this way not not towards the engine but towards you so let's don't 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 drop the bolt inside there because then then it's gonna be socks looking for it so uh, there you go, we thread one bolt in. Make sure it's snugged pretty good. There you go. Now we're gonna take this bracket and put it in inside this thread, like that. And we take in another bolt and screw it in. So basically we just screw it in this um, <clears throat> um, this bracket for the oil catch can but we're not gonna tie it up for right now all right here's the oil catch can <clears throat> so you have two hoses one shorter and one's longer the shorter one will go inside the uh, metal fold and the longer was, will go in the engine so uh, let's pop this shorter one in and you will hear the snug and uh, other one the longer one actually hold on let's twist it this way and uh, for better clean look we're gonna go under the bracket there you go just like that and we are going to push that in there and you held the click. So now it's all installed, the hose installed. Now we're gonna put the uh, can on, on a spot that needs to go. And we need to use these screws. Pop this one in. Get in there, get in the hole. <laughs> All right, let me line up this screw with the hole because I still have an issue with this. There you go. Let's tighten it up. <sighs> okay, let's get another screw in. Line it up with a hole. Don't drop the freaking screw in, in there because then you're gonna be looking. This project will turn to an hour project, not 20 minutes. 
So yeah, don't drop your screws or bolts. All right, make sure it's tight. Let's tie this one up. Yep. Yep, it's tight. All right, let's uh, tighten it up actual bracket. Not the other way. Hold on. Let's, there you go. Make sure it sits straight, not left or right. So the position it, uh, oil catch can straight and tie this bracket good. I think it's pretty, pretty good. All right, there it is. All righty, boys, this is it. Uh, easy installation, just pop in two hoses, uh, screw it in the bracket and an oil catch can, and that's it. Um, make sure that your um, actual can is very snug tightly because when you drive it on a bumpy roads and after so long, and if it's not tight enough, it will loosen it up and all that, that oil and debris will pop all over, fall down there and it will be greasy everything. So make sure this is very tight. Oil catch can looks amazing, snug pretty good. Um, to for better clean look, this hose up here goes underneath the actual bracket and it goes in here. So it gives you just a better clean look. Uh, but yeah guys, this is it with this uh, project. I'm super excited. Uh, definitely, definitely uh, recommend everybody get it, this thing done as soon as you get a, your car. And especially, like I said, if you have a supercharger supercharged or boosted car get it done and uh like i said it blows my mind when i see people still don't have this kind of modification uh, i tell you what we're gonna drive this thing for a while and we're gonna open the catch can and uh we'll see what's inside there and i bet uh the people don't have this mod that will change their mind and they will they will install it Anyways, guys, thank you for tuning in with me with this uh, episode. Hope you like this video. If you have any questions, comment below. I will like. I would love to answer your questions. But um, uh, yeah, thank you for tuning in, and I'm out. God bless you guys. And uh, another collection sticker for my door. That and that. It's coming along. Ha, 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 ha.